And King joins us live from the NASDAQ with those stories and more in this morning's Money Matters Report. Hey, Jane. Hi, Bruce Melny. Good morning. Yes, this recalled infant ibuprofen products have reached their expiration date. So the FDA recommends, recalled or not, do not use anything expired. Now, Tris Pharma, that is the maker of these affected batches of the infant ibuprofen oral suspension drops. Uh, they were recalled officially last year at CVS and Walmart due to safety concerns. Well, one of the most popular toys on the market over the holiday season apparently wasn't flying off shelves as fast as retailers expected. B Stock told the New York Post thousands of LOL surprise toys are being shipped to industrial warehouses, which hold excess inventory. The Molson Coors and Heineken both using Dry January to promote their beers. U.S. consumers are drinking less beer in general. And then during the month of January, many people decide to cut back on alcoholic drinks because of all the partying that goes on in December, and uh, they're just trying to give themselves a healthier option. So the beer companies using low alcohol alcohol and alcohol-free beer to lure those customers to their products and make sure that they know that they exist. And Delta Airlines workers say their new purple uniforms are making them sick. The workers, ranging from flight attendants to maintenance employees, say they're being sickened by these newly issued lands in made uniforms because they have chemicals that make them non-wrinkle and stain resistant. Now, Delta says they are investigating. Life in the NASDAQ market site, I'm Jane King. Back to you. All right, Jane, thanks. Have a good day.